Welcome back. Just want to share with you a little information that uh, I noticed while we're out for a drive in the car today. Took the Kona out, had a bit of a blast. It's lovely sunny weather here, the roads are dry. It just makes you want to go a little bit quicker than you normally would perhaps. So uh, yeah, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour was the result after a 35 mile trip today. So definitely not an efficiency run, but thoroughly enjoyed the drive in the car. But the thing that I noticed was regen. On the EV OBD2 device that I have, um, that monitors some of the internal information of the Kona Electric, one of the numbers there is available regen and available power. Now those interested me because I started to notice them change and vary. And uh, I noticed the other day when the car was at 90, 92% state of charge, that it said we only had 60, 68 kilowatts of regen available which you know, sounds like a lot, 68 kilowatts of charging basically sounds like quite a lot, but considering the maximum is apparently 170 kilowatts of regen, then you know, we're talking almost a third of the power of regen. Now I have heard some people say that when the car's fuller of charge, then they've noticed that there isn't as much regen braking available and you can feel it. Well, no wonder you can feel it. It's, um, it's quite significantly different. So if at 92% state of charge, we're getting 68 or 60-ish, 60 68 kilowatts of regen, on this trip out in the car, um, we left with 82% state of charge and the available regen was 90 kilowatts. And then as state of charge reduced down to 77, then we saw available regen shooting up to 132. And now we're down to 66% state of charge. We've got the full 170 kilowatts of regen available. Now, just to give you the idea about how much that is, on a rapid charger, a 50 kilowatt rapid charger, even the lowest level of regen that we're talking of 60 68 is more than i've ever seen in the car charging on a rapid charger so 60 68 kilowatts is a lot but 100 130 170 kilowatts that's just a huge amount how fast must you be going and how quick must you break to actually get those kilowatts into the battery Anyway, I found it fascinating on how much regen you actually have available and how that varies over state of charge. Obviously, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because as the state of charge increases, then when you're charging your car, then it throttles down on a rapid charger and you don't get as high a charging rate. So it makes sense that when you have a higher state of charge that you're not allowed to charge the car with regen to um, really, really high rates either. But what I'd never seen before until I had this little device was exactly what the numbers were and how big they were. So I thought I'd share that with you, that 92% uh, I was only seeing 60 odd kilowatts of regen available. 82% we saw 90 kilowatts of regen available. 77% up to 132 kilowatts. And now I'm down to 66% state of charge. We've got the full 170 kilowatts of regen. So th there you go. There's the numbers for those techie people that really like them. Um, I thought I'd share that with you so that it makes sense as to when you have a higher state of charge, why the brakes don't feel quite as strong under regen. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I will continue to share more information as and when I find it. Take care for now. See you again soon.